Today on the Sun Kiss Kids, we'll have fun meeting an athlete who travels around the world to perform moves of amazing grace and agility all astride a moving horse. Then you'll meet a cool competitor from Georgia who's become a champion in a grown-ups game that demands great skill and pinpoint precision. And you'll thrill to the terrific jumps and turns of a pair of Florida cyclers whose pedal power is a fun family tie. Those stories and much more when we return on the Sunkiss Kids. They're the best in the future. Now, you know if you play basketball, you have a tip-off, right? And if you're playing baseball, you have a double play. Well, what sport has a peg out? I didn't say peg out. That was peg out. Think about it. We'll answer that question when we come back and meet our next Sun Kiss Kid. Hey, yeah. Our next Sun Kiss Kid is from Greensboro, Georgia. Now, he's a pretty regular kid. He's a nice guy, makes good grades, and likes to play the rugged all American game of football. But what sets Peter Guthrie apart from his other football teammates is his interest in a very, very different sport. This is a sport that, unlike football, which needs strength and endurance, this needs patience and quiet skill. It's a centuries-old European game that came to our country in the 1880s, approximately, and it gave us a French word in our vocabulary. The word and the game, croquet. Now, Peter Guthrie plays croquet much different than you or I might play it at our grandmother's house on the weekend with our brothers and sisters. He plays it very competitively. During football season, you'll find Peter Guthrie playing wingback on the Nathaniel Green Academy B team. And while Peter enjoys the game, his preferred sport might surprise you. Look, this is just what they were saying. They had two balls around. At 11 years of age, Peter is the youngest champion in the centuries-old sport of croquet, a game in which the average age of 43 Croquet has experienced a recent surge of popularity in this country, and Peter predicts a very bright future for the sport. Well, it'll definitely attract much more interest as it, as it grows. And a lot of people will play, and I fig figure in about five or ten years, it'll have as many people as tennis and golf. If there is a tour, which I believe there will be, I would like to go on in. Peter's interest in croquet started here at his Greensboro home, where eight years ago his father converted the backyard into croquet courts. Now that same backyard is the home of the Addison Hill Mallet Club. We never dreamed it would lead to this. It, we started out playing a backyard version of croquet, and, and it was just really the family and a few cro close friends, and now... We have people coming from all over the country and all over the world to play here. Are you going for black? Wait for a referee. Here in tournament play at the Inn on the Green Croquet Courts, young Peter, who is the winner of the Southern Regional Top Flight Doubles Crown, has won the admiration of teammate Ben Smith. It's obvious that he plays to win this game, and you have to play croquet that way. You've got to be aggressive. It's a competitive game, and he's got the right spirit. He's a great croquet player, and like most Southern people I've met, he's a gentleman, which is nice. And you ought to check with him in about five years from now, and uh, you'll see him at the top somewhere. Already a champion in his own right, Peter Guthrie seems like he's destined to become one of the great players of the game. To his parents, tournament play has taught him something of even greater value. The main way it's helped him is, is it's taught him humility. It's taught him patience. It's uh, taught him that you never give up. He's just learned so much about what it takes to be a good sportsman, and, and we both feel that that's very important. Ooh, I love that. I love for Peter, that. as for any athlete, winning is important, but just playing the game is the secret to this champ's love of croquet. I like the challenge of it. I mean, you're always learning something new. They say if you know all the rules that you're in the top 10% of the nation. So I think that's good. You know, Peter gives me a whole new perspective on croquet, which is what this show is all about. I'm going to go out there and take it a lot more seriously now. You know, our